Kia ora, I'm Rachel. I teach in chemical and process engineering. Uh, my main interest is actually down in sort of bioprocess engineering and looking at disease modelling and what materials we can use for that. These are glasses from John McMillan Brown. They're spectacles we know that he wore and they were bought um, particularly over in England because you couldn't get the glasses he wanted here in Christchurch. The brilliant thing about glass and glasses is that they're able to extend the lifespan of academic scholars and so he was known for doing 16 hour days. He obviously read a lot of books. We know he bequeathed a lot of his books to the Macmillan Library at UC. So it's not actually surprising given the way he um, lived his life that he was needing glasses towards the end. And the fact that we have glasses means that he had that much longer and other scholars had so much longer to do their research and to pass that knowledge on. So it really led to an acceleration of discovery with glass. I think these glasses are quite interesting in the sense that they're very different from sort of glasses we see today. I don't know how comfortable they were to wear. I know that the first glasses we had, we didn't actually have the frames on the side to hold them on our head. I also think the lenses are quite small as well. This is uh, the case of one of John McMillan Brown's glasses. We don't believe it is for the glasses shown here simply because it doesn't look like it would fit. You can see it's quite a different sort of case to what we would um, be used to today. We actually have these hinges at the side and then we would open it sideways. I think it's quite a nice little case. I think it'd be very easy to slot in your pocket, to take to the university, to lectures, to your office. Although I also would worry that that would make them easy to lose. And if you're going all the way to England for glasses, I'd be quite scared of losing them. The glasses themselves don't necessarily relate to my work, but I'm far more interested in the glass itself. It led to the discovery of mirrors. That then led us to be able to build telescopes. That's not relevant to my work, but I still think it's really cool. In my work more particularly, it led to the ability to have microscopes. We had lenses. We could then start to see into the detail of our world. That led to germ theory, so we could actually see what was attacking our body, so then we could develop and test what things we can use to treat it. My work works with cells. I use microscopes on a daily basis using glass and various lenses to help us look at the detail of um, endometriosis cells and how they can invade different parts of the body. So I said it's not the glasses, but what glass can do for us that I think is really exciting, almost the unsung hero of scientific discovery.